Well, Drive has enabled some options for you to easily locate your file. The first option is using the Start Files. Start Files is like a favorites button. You should store the files that you frequently use, and then you can easily access them anytime you press the Start Files icon. Second is the clock. That's the recent tab. So any files that you've been using recently will pop up under the recent files. Lastly, the search. You can search by file type, date, name, whatever words are in the file, and a bunch of other things. So the last one, the search box, is probably the most advanced form of search for a file. It's a great tool, and let's take a look at all three of these tools in Google Drive. So now we enter Google Drive, and you can find the start files located in the left sidebar. And right here, I'll press start, and you'll see a couple of different files here. These are the files that I frequently use. So let's take a look at species interaction, because I often show this file to my class. We'll open it up. Now I want you to take a look at this star right here. This star is colored yellow, which indicates that this file has been selected as a starred file. If I click this star, it becomes unselected and removed from the starred files folder. So let's go back to Google Drive and see if it's there. Google Drive, and now you can see that I am in the starred file section and it's missing. Let's go back to the species interaction PowerPoint that I showed in my bio class. And let's add the star. And now let's go back to the start section. And boom, it pops up immediately. So now we're back to Google Drive. And let's take a look for the recent tab. The recent tab is located right above the start file. And I'm going to select this. And here you can see a bunch of different files, all different types that I've used recently. Like for example, this says today. So I've accessed all these different files today. Let's scroll down. You've got earlier this week, and then this month, and you can take it from there. Back to Drive. Now, let's say you can't find a file in any of your folders, and the file isn't stored, and you haven't opened it up in a long time, so using the recent tab probably won't work for you. Then I want you to use the last method, which is the advanced search method located in the search bar above, right here. Now, if you know the file type, let's say you're looking for a PDF, you can simply select PDF, and your search will be significantly narrowed. So let's select PDF, and you can see my search has been narrowed down to only PDF files. And it also narrows it down by how recently I've used these files. Now let's say, for example, you don't remember if it was a PDF or if it was a Word document or, or, or what, or for example, you have so many PDFs that you still can't find it. You still gotta locate that needle in a haystack. Then you could go a layer deeper by using more search tools. You can click this, or you can click this right here. And now you can search by file type, date modified, item named, what words it has, who owns it, who is shared with you, where is it located. And we'll look for a chemistry bingo file that, that I created, I don't know, maybe a year ago and I had trouble finding it. So let's, let's look for that. So first off, the file type. I remember it was a slides presentation, so we'll go here. When was it modified? Today, yesterday, seven days ago. Custom, I don't exactly remember, so I'll just put any time. Item name, I know it has the word chemistry in it, or chem. But more importantly, I know it has the word bingo. So we'll go with bingo. Has the words found in the file. Should have the word chemistry. Let's say electron, proton, I own it, it wasn't shared and located anywhere. Let's go to search, and there it is, my chemistry bingo uh, presentation. 
So right now, I would just like to say thank you for your time. And please watch the next video in the series, Exploring the Landscape of Google Drive.